what's up guys welcome back to another video um today we are going to be making or putting in some crawfish traps i'm gonna kind of explain a little bit before i get started with this okay so first of all um i tried to make a crawfish video about a month or two ago but i didn't get anything so you guys never saw that video and this is what i came up with it was just a milk jug um, I think, no, not on this one. I have two of these. I have two of these right here. This one wasn't glued on, but it's still, I'm still going to use it. Okay, so what we have is this one. I have a Sunny D. I cut the top of it off and I put it in there so it's like a bigger hole for the crawfish. I screwed some holes in there so we can drain. Um, put rocks in there and everything. And that's about it on this one. Um, it's kind of basically just a minnow trap, but with the bigger hole. So uh, you just use the top of a bigger thing. You can even use one like this. Um, cut about like that. Cut this little piece off right here. And then boom, you got a crawfish trap. If you want me to make a video on how to make one of these, let me know in the comments and I will post one of those. So let me explain what I did with this one. It's basically the same thing, but on this one is a little trap door that you can get things out of. And uh, yeah, I just put a zip tie on there. Hopefully they can't get out of that. Hopefully they can't pry that open. They might be able to, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, we're gonna find out. And uh, we're gonna put these traps in. I have a really good spot. If you watched my last video, you know that I, there was some crawfish um, in that video. I'm not going to explain how or where. Just go watch that and you will see. But yeah, there was some crawfish in my last video and I didn't know there was down. I didn't know there was crawfish down here. So yeah, we're back the next day and we're going to make a crawfish video. But first, we have to get through this mess right here. Um, this, it might not look that bad, but it's like it... It's like muddy, mud, mud, mud. I don't like it. That's basically that's the best way I can explain it. And for this golf cart, it has decent it has decent off-roading tires, but again, it is just a golf cart. What I have right here is I have a bunch of freaking wood that I gathered up over today, and we're gonna put this over here. So hopefully, we can um we can get through here. Yeah, let's get started building this bridge. <laughs> Alright, we made it through. Bare, barely. I was sliding coming out of it. Look at that. But we barely made it through. But good thing I had these sticks down. Seriously. Oh, that's pretty good right there. Look at that. Oh, I almost didn't make it out. Alright. Now we made it through that mess. Let's go put these crawfish traps out. Guys, we made it. Look at this. This is where I'm gonna put the crawfish traps. Not right here, obviously. It's not that deep, but over there, it's about two, three, two to three foot deep. So we're gonna make our way over there in this thick freaking mud, and we're gonna put the truck the uh, crawfish traps. And I forgot to show you guys what I'm using for bait. I'm just gonna be using hot dogs these went bad so i'm not wasting food or anything they went bad so i'm just gonna use those and i have uh, some stringers to tie it up with 
Um, and if that's not enough, then I have this rope. So, yeah, here's the two traps right here. Um, you're just going to untie your rope right here, obviously. You guys already probably realized that, but yeah, let's make our way over here and uh, put the crawfish traps out. I'm not sure how long I'm going to leave them out for, but I don't know. We're going to see. Alright guys, so I, I need to figure out how I'm actually going to get over there. So let's grab these traps. Hopefully I have enough rocks to weigh them down. Let's go, we got all the stuff. Let's make our way over here. I'm not, I'm probably just gonna stay on the bank. Go, guys, look at this right now. It's almost over my freaking boots. And I'm still sink. I'm still sinking. I'm, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. Whew. All right, now we just need to figure out where we're gonna put these traps. I think I'm going to put one right here, right in this area. I'm just going to get this out. I'm not sure how I'm going to tie this up. Probably with two. Yeah, I'm probably going to use two of these. Let's get the hot dogs out. I can't even really like put these anywhere. Like, I'm just surrounded by mud. Okay. I'm just gonna do probably one hot dog. Just break it up into bits like that. Put it in there. Just break it up. Put it in there. Break it up. Right, and I'll put this in here. I'm trying to think of how I should do this. I'm just gonna lay it straight up. There we go. That's in there. Hopefully that doesn't move too much. Perfect. I'm not sure if a crawfish should be able to swim in that. Let me kind of lay it on their, on its side, kind of like that. There we go. That kind of works. So it's kind of like, hey, come on in. This isn't a trap. All right. How the heck am I gonna rig this up now? Alright, I got this. I'm just gonna take all these limbs off. Kinda use this as an anchor and stick it in the ground. There we go. Alright, that's in there pretty good. Let me get my foot off of this. All right, boom. First one is rigged up in there. It's a really good spot because it kind of like leads right in there. So let's take all the other stuff. Now I just got this rope to work with. Which should be, too, it shouldn't be too difficult. Now let's just tie the knot. Bunch. I'm probably just gonna do the same thing that I did um, to the other side. Just try to get it somewhere out in that middle. No, you gotta be kidding me, dude. My piece came off. That means I'm gonna have to go in there and set it up manually. Yeah, that's perfect. That's in there. Hopefully they can get in and reach that. All right, now we just need to tie the end of our rope off. So we got one right here and one about 20, 20 feet, 15 to 20 foot um, over there. That trap is set. Whew, now we just gotta figure out how long we're gonna wait for. 
I'm just gonna leave them overnight, um, let them soak, let that scent get out, let that scent get out in the water, because um, there's a bunch of water it's gotta get through. So, yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow, sometime in the morning, because uh, I got school in the afternoon. So I'm gonna try to come maybe early in the morning. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get something tomorrow. I, I really do think there, there's gonna be something in there, whether it's minnows or crawfish. So uh, yeah, we're gonna find out, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, so we have the first trap right here. I don't see anything in there, but we're about to just pull it up. I don't see anything in here guys i don't think there is anything in here there's nothing in the first one all right guys so we're on the second one i don't see anything moving in there but that doesn't really mean much when i walked up on them there were some bass and some bluegill right beside the trap um they're just right over there i don't know if you guys can see that but they're just right over there There's nothing in this one. There's nothing in this one. We're just gonna throw this back out. other one back in okay guys as you saw we didn't get anything right there in those traps but i have a plan okay i'm, I'm gonna go home get my net it's like, it's like a minnow net um go home and get that um get one of my poles with the bobber on it and throw some minnows right out there because where my second trap was i'm not sure if you can tell on camera or not um but there's bluegills and bass swimming right there and if I can catch one of those and cut them up and put them in the trap, then I think I have, I'm gonna have a lot better luck. Cause if you if you don't know, crawfish eat meat like dead fish, minnows, things like that. Um, that's probably their main source of food in this pond, probably. So I'm gonna go home, get my net. Um, like I said, try to catch some bluegills. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep any bass, so don't worry about that. Try to catch some bluegills, uh, maybe some crappie or something like that minnows and uh yeah put them in the trap and we should do a lot better all right guys so i'm not sure um where i left off i think it was earlier this morning i said that i was going to go get my net try to catch some minnows and then use some bluegills um i tried that and i didn't catch anything so so now i'm just gonna use this bait right here in this pond hopefully i can catch something here Hi guys, so I didn't show you guys this, but I just switched lures and put on one of these little octopus looking things. Got one, got one guys, got one. Did you see that? He ran up and ate it. I mean, choked it. He didn't even have to try to bite it again. He just instantly had it in his mouth. Of course, I didn't bring pliers with me or nothing. All right, we're just gonna dispatch this guy. All right, guys, so we caught one fish. He's right there. He will do. He's big enough to split um, in between both traps. So uh, I'm at a totally different pond, so I gotta drive down there to the crawfish traps 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys down there. Hi right, guys, so we made it down here. And I got my fish in three sections. I got one big piece and then two smaller pieces. Let's just put, I don't even think it matters. I'm just gonna put the tail in there. Mm, God dang it, freaking stab me. All right, tail is in there. All right, let's do the next one. All right, it's out the water. Now we're just gonna take, this is like the middle of them. Put that in there. That's in there. Take his head. Now that's in there. I don't really wanna show, show too much detail on that. I want it sideways. if you think about it crawfish traps are really on the ground kind of able for them to crawl into it keep it like that i'm gonna do the other one like the same the same way oh, let's just do that all right boom that should be good all right we got actual good crawfish bait in these traps <sighs> let's see what happens okay so now we got some good crawfish bait in there. I'm actually feeling a lot better. Um, not necessarily because of the, the bait. I mean, it is the bait. We got good crawfish bait. And because I laid the traps down. Because I did. I realized that maybe they, they can't get the angle right to get in there or something. I'm not sure. So, I mean, if you realize real crawfish traps, they're on the, the ground. Like, they're able to just crawl into one, of, one side of the hole. So, that's how I have my traps right now. And we're gonna wait till tomorrow. Um, it's getting pretty late, and uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel like we might have something. So uh, I don't know, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, yeah, let's hope we have something. <laughs> All right. So it's the next day. We're back out here, and uh, we're just gonna do the same thing. Lift this trap up. See if there's anything in here, which I don't think there is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Though. I can't really see much. The hot dog is on there, I know that. There might be something in there, I'm not sure. Hold on, let's drag it up here. The fish looks like it's been nibbled on. I can't tell though. So I mean, maybe not. All right, let's go check the other one real quick. All right, so now we gotta check this one. I don't see anything in there. Maybe it's gotta be all the way on the ground. I don't even know anymore. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do because I don't even understand because I know for a fact there's crawfish in here why are they not going inside the trap I'm trying to think of what like why wouldn't they go in <laughs> unless they know with the trap or something I, don't know. I mean I had the right bait I left it long enough all right so put this hot dog back in there I'm not even sure anymore maybe I should put this one um like in a different spot I'm trying to see what would be the right like the best spot for this maybe I just need to go freaking make a bunch of crawfish traps and put and then put them all down here Let's get the trap and see where I can actually put it at. All right, you grab my tie down. Let's see if this one can be over here. I mean, look at that. That's a pretty good. That's pretty good right there. All right, so you have that tie to this tree right here, and it leads down into the trap over there. So I feel like that's in a pretty good spot. Now I have an idea of where I want to put the second one. All right, so we got this trap, the second trap. And like I said, I have an idea. I have an idea of where I want to put this one. Right here. Hold on, maybe. 
It'll be over here. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna have to fix that later or something. All right, now I just need to grab a stick and make sure it stays in there. We got our stick. that tied down it's leading over here now we should go fix it all right both traps are out again now I'm gonna wait a couple I'm gonna wait a couple hours um, come back see if there's anything um hi guys um it's been a couple hours um, and I was looking for another spot to put one of the crawfish traps because I just want to put put them in different locations So uh, the uh, we have one down there and it's, that one is in the corner um, The one in the corner not in the main like canal stream of water So uh, yeah, and I have my kayak right here because I'm gonna put one of the traps in here. Okay, this looks this looks really good. Hopefully, there should be a crawfish in here. Honestly, um, and I'm gonna try to put it under that tree right there. So I got my kayak and everything, and I have this, and I put a little bit of cat food in there. So hopefully that can uh, hopefully that can get the scent out more. They might like that better. I don't know, but we're gonna get the kayak in here, and we're gonna put the uh, trap in the water. Okay, so. We have the trap, the crawfish trap, right here. And I'm gonna put that in there so it doesn't flow out into the water. I'm gonna grab the paddle and connect this up. All right, that's connected. Um, everything else is good. We're good to go. Um, now we just gotta put this trap in here. I really do think that this we're gonna do better at this spot. Now hopefully it's not difficult getting getting into this thing. <laughs> All right, now let's get in it. Okay. Oh. All right, we're in it. We're in it. We're in it. We're in it. All right. Push off because we're on the uh, we're on the drainage tunnel right now. I just gotta push off of that. Okay, we're stuck. That's perfect. All right, we're good. We're out. All right, it's off. It's off the drainage tunnel. All right, from here on out, it's us just in the kayak. Okay, so I feel like over right here, over this low hanging tree, we're gonna be a really good spot to, uh, to put it in how deep are we right now not too deep not too deep not too deep okay that's perfect that's perfect right there so i'm actually gonna hug it up against this tree a little bit let's grab on don't fall in the water let's grab on to this tree and i'm gonna put it in here right here so it's kind of hugged up against this tree there's flowing water. I just think this is gonna be a really good spot to put it. And we're just gonna tie it up right here. Okay, so now we just gotta grab, grab the trap. Okay, not deep at all. Perfect, that's perfect right there. That's perfect. Now we just have to get in a spot to where we can put it in here. And I want, I want the trap I want the trap, the hole facing this way, so that scent can get out in the flowing water. Maybe they can locate it easier that way. Okay, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in. Dude, that's like right where I can't see it, and I really don't want to stick my hand in here, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I'm bringing heads, hitting limbs, and everything else. This is perfect. trying guys my hands all the way submerged okay perfect okay it's on the side 
All right, that should be, that should work. Let's throw that in there. All right, now we're good. Okay, so the trap is in there. I really do think that's a good spot. All right. Throw that up there. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Ooh. All right, the trap is officially set. That was a lot harder than it needed to be. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give these traps um, a couple hours, probably like an hour before it gets dark. Um, so later on in the evening, it's like one or two now. I'm gonna wait a good amount of time. It's three now, it's three o'clock. So I really don't think it's gonna take long in here for these crawfish to get in here because the water's constantly flowing back and forth. So it's gonna, the scent's gonna dissipate like a larger, you know what I'm trying to say. It's gonna dissipate like further out. Okay, so, so I really don't think it's gonna take that long. If there is crawfish, if there's a lot of crawfish in this canal, okay, I, if there is, if there's a lot of crawfish in here, I don't think it's going to take long. So we should have some by today, the, um, today, um, sometime in the evening, uh, a couple hours from now. Um, if not, we're going to let it sit overnight. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Hopefully we have something. All right, guys. So it's the next day and uh, I checked both crawfish traps and we have nothing. Okay, so these traps are garbage. They don't work. Don't use them. Just go to the store and get an actual crawfish trap or a minnow trap. And you're going to do a lot better with that. Um, I'm going to make a part two to this video. Um, I'm going to try to um, go somewhere else. Um, and put uh, buy some actual traps. Um, and then go somewhere else so we can make a part two to this video. And you guys can actually get a crawfish catch and cook. I'm probably going to upload this video anyways because we pro first of all, I spent a lot of time making this video, okay? I spent so much time setting traps out, editing and all that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the actual video, but I'm going to get a crawfish catch and cook. Um, I know that's what you guys were probably here for, but I'm going to get a crawfish catch and cook on this channel soon. So, stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not. Um, this is only part one. This is only the beginning. Um, it's a very long beginning. This video is probably very long, but just bear with me and we are going to get a crawfish catch and cook on the channel. So, um, I think that the traps just might not work. Like, they might just be able to get out of it real easy. Because my bait was gone in this trap right here. The one that I put out in this area. My bait was completely gone. No hot dogs, no cat food, no fish. So, I don't know. Maybe there is crawfish in here. They just took it out. So, and uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, we do videos just like this all the time. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. It might be a part two to this, or it might be a totally separate video. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.